Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So, as you can see, my uh, cocoa beans are now ready for harvesting, so let's do that first of all, before I forget. Mash that, we get three. We can plant three of these now. And then in a short while we'll need some more wood, but for the time being that's fine. Because that's a good source of nitrogen. So next thing we want to do, I actually would like to make some um, sugar cane, because we've not done that yet, I don't think. So what I'm going to do to make sugar cane, we need some, let's have a look at the recipe for sugar cane. I don't need to see the recipe for penicillin anymore. Let's have a look at sugar cane. And it's this one. So obviously from UE matter, which we're not going to get to for a very long time, we can do it that way. And here we can do it from sucrose. So sucrose is C12, H22 and O11. So let's see if we can do that. So C12, so we need some carbon. O22 and H11. I don't, oh, there we are. I think that's the recipe. I'll double check in a short while. I thought it was here actually. C12. So I do that to four. One, two, three, four. C12. H22, almost half of that. It's a bit 27, wouldn't it? Pretty like that. And then we need O11. Like that. And that'll give us a sucrose. So the next thing we need. Let's put that into the book as well, because that's another one that we... Well, I'm going to, actually, I'm going to take advantage of this, but I think you're supposed to do everything through the that machine, that phytogenic machine, because we're on the moon, and it doesn't. things really shouldn't be growing on the moon. I agree, but uh, this is Minecraft, and Minecraft has its own set of rules where things don't really work, like floating blocks and stuff like that. So anyway, what we need is some water, so we need H2O, so let's, so it was one sucrose followed by two hydrogen and one oxygen will give us a sugar cane. I'm missing, uh, I'm not missing anything, it just does that, doesn't it? Come back, all is forgiven, so we'll now put, so we've got some sand on us and we've got some water, so we'll go and plant this. So it's coming towards evening. I'll just walk through the penicillin because I like the bubbles. And we'll make some more of this that go down here, I think. We've got a reasonable amount of this now. Oh, yeah. This must be where the caves are going down to for the... Uh, where those mobs are. I should light this area up. It doesn't matter for now, we can live with it. Um, but I want to plant some more sugar cane. I want to plant some more um, cactus down, so let's do that as well. If any mobs come out, they'll probably get... No, they won't get pricked on this because they're too low down, aren't they? So let's break this. I've got a f Yeah, uh, if you're too close to these, they tend to break on each other and get destroyed, so... It's a good idea to stand a little bit back because you see I've only got four. I picked up some that time. We did pick up eight in the end, but we should have had more than eight. So I want these to plant these down here. I'm going to plant four of them anyway. Oop, walk around here like that. And sugar cane. What we're going to do with sugar cane, I was going to Drill a hole in the ground here, one hole, and put some water in it, and then put some cactus around it. But of course, I've got to do more than one hole, haven't I? Tell you what, we'll do put that one back again, and make a bigger hole. There we go. So, I'm going to put sand all around this. It's not the most efficient way for doing it, but as a starter, it isn't too bad. Oh, 
Can I not put it down? Oh, you can't treat it like the other ones. That's interesting. I thought you'd be able to put water down like that. Never mind. I'll go and get this. Have we got a bucket with me? Yes, good. We're not going to be using this water for the time being, so we can quite happily take that now. We've got all our obsidian downstairs now, so we put that down there. And then we can put the sugar cane on it like that. And that can grow up and do its own business. So actually, while we're here, might as well knock this down now. Oops, made a bit of a hole that I didn't want to do. I'll we'll put some dirt down here anyway. So actually what I should do here now is to take out of here, at least I think the, this one, yeah, got it. Oops, set myself on fire, how's that possible? I remove it and it sets it on fire, that's brilliant. All right, now we can at least make some good use out of that penicillin. Just make sure we've got some food, we'll get some food. I'm gonna put this actually in this chest for the time being, I think. Let's open it like this. Because that's pretty nasty stuff to be honest with you. And we're going to decompose this other bit in pieces and hope. I'm still waiting for that ender pearl by the way. Um see so you get a reasonable amount of water out of that was four, wasn't it? So we got uh I think basically five five stacks so let's just put that into here no what, so what do we get one stack and 16 so five 16 so that's anyway I'll put it into all of this into here because I don't need any of it for the time being do I to make sure we've got some more water in our system let's have a look how this end of pearls doing ah got one in the chest yeah that's fine oh it's very very close now to being finished what I'm gonna do with this end of the chest is to put it where the other chest is in here to start with because basically what we want is this to come through here in fact you know what I should be doing now I should actually make some tinkers construct tools because they're still quite useful let's put that down in here let's give it a test let's put some moon dirt in there yes so this is where it's going to come into it's going to get fed into here like that so let's put some moon turf in it as well because we won't really be needing that as such and you'll see this is all working nicely well, how far have we got to go with this thing well about, we're about 90 percent there now aren't we? so that's doing quite well so Tinker's Construct, let's have a look at that. Because I made the cane, I did that one. We made some sucrose. Oh, so we're waiting for the redstone furnace and the end of the chest. That's why I'm leaving those down on the bottom. It sort of helps me remember where I am. So um, Tinker's Construct. So let's have a look for a stencil. There we go, a stencil table, for example. So we need these blank patterns. Okay, that's fairly straightforward. It's the same recipe as it was before, it hasn't changed. Always a good idea to check, by the way. Let's make, I don't know, four. Make four sticks, which isn't enough. Let's make another two sticks. It's fine. That's going to be four patterns. That's going to be 16 patterns. We'll take those 16 patterns. And then we'll start to make the bits and pieces. So, ultimately, what we want to do is to make a tool forge. But uh, let's have a look at what the uses of this are, in fact. Um, I wonder, I'm just thinking how to do this quick, easily. So we want to have, let's have a look at the uses of this forge. So we're gonna make a tool forge, and probably make it out of aluminium. So we need some shared bricks and a block of iron with a tool station. So let's make a tool station first of all. So we need a crafting station. 
which we have already got. Good. Oh no, we haven't got that yet. We need one of those. Like that. Oh, we're not made. Have I not made a crafting station so far? Oh my goodness, right. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, that'll work. That'll give me a tool station. So then we need to make a stencil table. So just a bit of wood like this will do fine. I haven't got any wood. But I think I'm going to have to make three of those. So we're going to have to make a chest because we need a pattern chest. It's going to be a chest like that. And that goes with a stencil table on top of it, I think. That's right, a pattern chest. And we also need to make um, one of these. Stencil table. And we need a part builder. Now what's a part builder? I think that's a piece of wood, isn't it, with a stencil on top of it. Indeed it is. So we can put these down. We'll put these down over here somewhere. Well, I've got my Tinker's Weaponry books already. That's pretty good. So let's put down the stencil table first of all. I think I'll put it in the middle. Put it like that. In the middle of that, I'm going to put the pattern chest. And then here I've got the part builder so that they have access to both those. It's the and what have I got here? So I've got the tool station. I'm going to put the tool station at this end. And I'm going to put some patterns into here. Wrong one. Stencil table. Stencil table? Yeah. So let's make some let's make an axe first of all. So what an axe head. Let's have a look what the recipe for that is. Axes are just a, a binding and a toolbox, so that's pretty straightforward. One small binding and one tool rod, and that'll give me the parts for that. So we could actually make this out of obsidian because obsidian is going to be fairly cheap. So let's do that. In fact, it's actually probably worthwhile making it a wooden. No, I don't think that applies in this version of Tinker's Construct, does it? You can't do. Can we do it with planks? Two wooden tool rods. Okay, one wooden tool rod will do. And then we want a paper bi tool binding, but we haven't got any. Um, I haven't got any. Uh, not well. I haven't got any sugar cane yet, so we do, papers are going to be a bit of a problem for a short while. In fact, I might leave that. In fact, just take uh, some obsidian. We'll take a couple of bits of obsidian. In fact, yes, what we could do is we could actually make a casting table too. So what I want to do here on the part builder is I want to put this this down and make a set one, two. Oh they made two rods, did it? Okay. And then we get one of those, that's fine. Right, let's put these patterns away. So what I want is some paper binding. So we'll have to get that. So is this ready? Yep. Yeah, it's not grown up yet. Hmm. I'm just wondering. It might be faster just to build some of those. But you know, I'm actually quite patient. I don't really mind things taking their time. The pickaxe I've got at the moment will just last a little bit longer, but not that much longer. How many cuts? Twenty. I've got twelve more hits with it. I must admit the um, the underpulls are driving me crazy. They will get easier later on. See, the underpulls now being finished. That's great. 
So we can then take this out of here and put this down the bottom here so we can make the second in the chest. Now, this is, needs a lot. What I'm going to do is turn this off like that and then has it just changed over to the end of the chest? It probably has actually. Because that's that's five hundred and that's five no, no, nearly six million, so it's, it has switched over. That's good. Well it's not really good because it's it's not behaving as you expect it to do, is it really? So let's put into this chest these bits from no, let's put a chest down for that. What I want to do is to make some bits and pieces for um, Tinker's Construct. Where have I got the books? I might as well put the books in there actually. Is that everything? Yes. Um, so what I want to do with Tinker's Construct is I want to make some a, a casting table. I think we can still do that. We can't make a casting basin because it's been nerfed, but we should be able to make a casting table. So we need some bricks. So we need some grout. So grout is clay, that's fairly easy. Sand and gravel. <coughs> and that will give us eight. And casting table needs seven. And then we need twelve for that, so we need twenty. So I've just got to get some cobblestone out of here. Let's get this ground up to gravel. In fact, gravel's probably yeah, it's cheaper this way. Why is it cheaper this way? Because one piece of obsidian will give you 16 gravel. Let's have a look at that. Um, silicon dioxide. And you get two stacks from one piece of obsidian if you actually do it that way around. So it's the cheapest way for the time being. Because all resources at the moment are a bit on the scarce side. They'll get late. Later on they won't. But at the moment they are. So we need some clay. I've got some clay here, let's do that. No, I won't do that. I'll make another one. Probably the easiest, won't it? Have I got some dust? I've got two dusks here. That's fine. Is that going to be enough? That's not going to be enough, is it? But oh, I've got two in there, so that's fine. I don't need another bucket because I run out of buckets because I used my last one with that one. Let's just do that. I want to get some water. Let's get some more water. Oh, gosh, you can reach good. the last one as well. Oops, missed. So I've got four bits of clay, I've got some sand and I just need some gravel and then we can make some grout. Oops, missed. I suspect we've got to cook the grout in the redstone furnace, huh? To make a third brick. Let's have a look. I oh, didn't check that very well, but this will do. Yep. My own fault, really. I should have put that like that, shouldn't I? Four should be enough. So let's have a look at the uses of that now. Yeah. Redstone furnace. Magna crucible will convert that to seared stone. So I've got to put this into redstone furnace. That's why we need the redstone. Another reason for re getting the redstone furnace. How are we doing with this stuff anyway? Let's have a look. 
it's taking a long time as usual these things are very slow to start with it's a bit of a pain but that's the way it works for the time being so i've got to wait for to get this redstone furnace and then we can start to do other stuff with the redstone furnace anyway so i probably don't need to keep those there yet um so what's next well basically there's nothing until i've actually got some I don't think I can't think of anything until I get a redstone furnace or this ender chest I'm stuck I would like to get the ender chest let's go and have a look downstairs actually thinking about it because we're actually charging this thing up as well aren't we what do we got 2.3 billion RF so it's coming in nicely we need 5.4 this will be empty of course let's go and get some carbon for that before I forget um, carbon 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 Well, I've got very much carbon in there. Have I? Let's get some. Let's get some more carbon. So we need some coal. Take another stack of that. Probably actually not going to be enough. Let's take two stacks. We have to wait for this. But while we're waiting for that, we can actually take what we've got, put that into the into the uh, sterling generator like that and that'll help to get this thing going faster I would also like to make another sterling generator but I'm I'm gonna probably have to wait a little bit for that all right got plenty now well I'll say plenty it won't last for very long but it'll it's better than nothing because we're only getting 1,000 RF coming from here per tick. Why is this thing generating 20,000 20, RF? So it's doing pretty nicely. Put that in there. And you can see this going up fairly quickly. So we shouldn't be too long before we reach our 5.4 billion. What a lot of RF. And how are we doing over here? Still waiting for this and the chest it's slow let's put this miscellane away we could make some more sucrose while we're waiting for this and get on with the stuff that's probably not such a bad idea is it um now that's in the book isn't it i've actually got that out of the book so let's get sucrose sucrose good ah yeah, we'll put the sucrose in. Oh, we haven't done this one, have we? So we need hydrogen, carbon and oxygen. And I've just taken all of the the carbon away from here. But we've got some cellulose. Let's decompose those and get those. Because we're going to use this uh, cellulose for other stuff. Any, I mean, these components for other stuff. Can make some jungle wood when I'm thinking about it. Let's do that. Now, what's the recipe for jungle wood? I think it's eight pieces. There we go. Yeah. That will give me eight. Yeah. Put these into here like this, and we should be able to get the sucrose now. Only nine hydrogen. Oh, eighteen sucrose. That's fine. So let's just take the book now and get to... Did I take that recipe? I didn't. That was smart, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. So let's put that into the book back into here. And let's set up that recipe. So it was basically one sucrose, two hydrogen, and one oxygen. It's basically sucrose plus water. 
will give me another eight nine So we can come along here and put these into this stuff, and it's coming towards night time, so that's actually going up one, that's great. Maybe it's a big jump. Yeah. Can't put it on the corners, can I? So let's, uh... Mm -hmm. I need some more water, don't I? So I'd better go back and get some other buckets of water, because that's not going to be very efficient. And I also need to change my oxygen tank, we'll do that as well. Really could do with a couple of buckets. Let's let's just make a couple of buckets. We've got to have some more iron. Yeah. Because they're always going to come into you. In, in usefully uh, buckets are going to be very useful anyway but we can't really lose out we can always decompose them back to iron so that's no big deal either so it makes sense to do that it's no still got some sand with me I can use sand or dirt of course so the standard pattern is that uh, what I'm talking about is um, <coughs> chest pattern a chest pattern for knights knight moves is a good one so you basically Make a light move, put a bucket in it, and then that's that one. In fact, it wouldn't have been a bad idea to bash this down first of all. Let's do that. Get out of the way. And then put the sand down. So one there, one there. And then the next light move will be here. We can put it like that. And put a bucket of water in there. And then we should be able to fill up the rest of this with sugar cane. Oh no, that's wrong. Doop, 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 doop. Yeah, that's not good. I have to take this out of here. And put it in here. It should be. I think it's here, it's where it's got to be. So let's put it down there. Doesn't look right this actually. I've got it wrong. Sorry, I have to take this one out. It should be here. Because that'll then allow us to do that one. And the sand goes back over here. Yep, I think that's correct. So we need another bucket of water in here. And we can just simply then fill this in here like this and then we can dig around here and make some more around like that or we can just leave it like this for the time being I just need one more bucket of water and I can put another piece of um, sugar cane down there which I haven't got anymore so wait for those to, to get up and I've just found some more rotting flesh because that's when we decided to spawn because it must be not quite night time interesting or maybe you came out of one of those holes. Don't know. Oh yeah, maybe they're trying to come out of here. Doesn't look like they... Oops, that's a, don't want to get shot by that guy if I can avoid it. But we'll be doing some I said to keep a little mob farm a bit later on. Let's have a look. How long is it? How's this doing? Well, it's not far away now. Anyway, it's night time. So we'll let a few mobs spawn. I'll put that back actually. In here now we've got our two pieces of rotting flesh. Get rid of that bucket recipe. We let some mobs spawn we can just by waiting a few minutes. We can go for sleep, which we're gonna do now. And we can go out and collect the the goodies because they'll be dying and getting shot or whatever.
No, because I don't see any, to be honest with you. Oh, well, never mind. If you want, I'm here, I might as well bash this down, because it's blocking my weight. to get one bucket of water for that didn't I in fact I've also got this wood on me so let's just deal with this wood as well if we put the wood up here like this interesting what's going on there I thought I did sleep through the night Bash this down. Um, bash that down with your hand, can't you? Yep. Put some wood down here. It doesn't actually matter what the direction is, so I thought we'd just put some of these up here. Like so I've got some more height up there. Actually, that might have been shot underneath, mightn't it? That, um, no, it shouldn't be. There should be no more dark spaces underneath. Let's go and have a quick look outside. Well, I don't see anything there. Never mind. It's time to call this a day. It's not been very... I really do need to get this speeded up, this process here, because it is so slow. But we're very, very nearly there. I'm going to just wait for this chest, and I'm going to get it sorted out. And it isn't, and it is daytime. Let's have a look. Yes, it is. I'm just checking my clock, and I'm going to just change the oxygen tank while I'm here, waiting for that thing that takes forever, the assembly table. I think put some of this stuff away as well. I don't know whether I need a chest will keep it with me. I don't want the moon I don't want the moon products in here, do I? Oh that was dirt, that's okay. Well let's go and put the um the other bits of moon stuff, moon turf in here. I don't think I can I did actually work, but I don't think it works generally. We've got some more coal, let's put some coal into here and take this carbon with us. There's a lot of oxygen and hydrogen in here as well. Let's get rid of those. Put those into this chest here. Oxygen and hydrogen. Get that quick sort. Yeah, that's just uh, carbon there. Yeah, this is just carbon. Good. Oh, hydrogen. Okay. So let's go put this downstairs while we're still waiting for things to actually do things. zombie but he must be below look at, uh, look at those things there they're very red oh come on under chest ah it's done great so let's go and deal with the quarry and then call it a day oh I need the um, sterling generator let's go and take the sterling generator because it's going to carry on doing its business anyway um yeah i've got enough upstairs because we do need these diamonds to get any progress along the line of the other things that we need to do so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to replace this chest here with the ender chest 
I didn't check it's empty, but I did empty it last time, so it should be okay. Let's put this down here like that. And then let's just put the sterling generator beside it. And that should just simply get this thing going. And this should start to fill up. I don't know if it's going to be fast enough to process all of this stuff in time, but hopefully it will be. But I'm only going to do two um, stacks of carbon at any one time. So that's enough for a double chest, but I've only got a single chest now, so maybe I have to do that differently. Let's go and have a look. See, things are serving nicely now. We can take that fishing rod, get that fishing rod decomposed. I got reasonably good stuff in this one. Now it's doing moon dirt. And let's have a quick look at something else as well while we're here. While we're here. Let's have a look at the, the price of upgrades. Was basically the speed upgrades the one I'm looking for. This is actually pretty expensive. But you've still got this recipe in here which is pretty cheap. I don't understand the first recipe to be honest with you. That's a bit seriously expensive for one speed upgrade because the extra utility speed upgrades aren't that effective. And the round robin one that gives us three. Or oh, pseudo round robin but it works pretty well. So those are the, the two things we need. We can't make world interaction upgrades. There's no recipe for that, by the way. That's why you can't get the water to work. You can do stack upgrades, and all of their diamonds. So anyway. I wonder why he hasn't disabled that, because I did tell him about that one, actually. Oops, I've got a block of dirt up here. Let's just put these two other pieces of wood up as well. Can I get up there? I don't think I can. Let's do it this way. Maybe I can jump up. Yep, I can. And try again. Yep, got it. So get rid of this thing. So we've got some more cocoa beans. See, that should be enough to actually fill this up now. So we can take the other cocoa beans we've got now and decompose those. So we get our therobrine and some tannic acid. So we get quite a decent amount of nitrogen, carbon and oxygen from those. That's going to help a lot. So. I'm going to say goodbye for now. 38 minutes is a bit long, but never mind. We have actually made a little bit of progress. We've got the uh, our first bit of automation from the quarry. So until next time, bye for now.